Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phonorena.com and this is the Dell Venue 8 Pro that we recently unboxed and you even saw the gaming performance demo of this device. Now for some synthetic benchmarks, we are going to see how good the performance of the Intel Z3740D processor is. It's a 1.8 GHz processor and has Intel integrated graphics, so it should be pretty good. Let's quickly go into the PC info there. You can see the amount of RAM and the uh, processor speed here. Uh, it says 1.33. The turbo speed is 1.8 GHz actually. This is the base clock speed. So you have 2 GB of RAM and Intel integ integrated graphics along with the Intel Atom CPU. So now quickly going to the benchmarks part, you have three benchmarks here. We are going to run three of them. So the first one is 3D Mark. And the second one is a very popular benchmark, GFX Bench, which stresses the GPU mostly. And there's the Sun Spider, which stresses the processor and sees how fast it can do some web related tasks. So first up, 3D Mark. 3D Mark by Future Mark is very popular. So you can see uh, some information about the device here. Uh, 8 inch display, 1.8 gigahertz CPU, 5 MP camera on the back, 2 gigabytes of memory and a lot of other information here. But this is nothing, we'll go into the tests directly. Now going to the test, you can see that the Ice Storm normal is too light for this machine so it's already maxed out. We ran the tests and it was like consistently 60 FPS for the most of the time. So let's run iStrom Extreme which has pretty good graphics and is kind of stressful on this GPU too. So that's the test there you can see it's running at a smooth 50 FPS to 60 FPS varying a lot according to the number of particles and the graphics FX. The FX are pretty nice. We are starting to see this kinds of uh, FX in a lot of games. You saw the gaming demo with Asphalt 8 which has pretty awesome graphics. So this is something similar to that. Pretty nice. Uh, it almost performed on an average of 50 FPS. We will see how it is in the results finally. This is another test. This is kind of stressful because there are a lot of particles here and it's almost only 30 FPS to 40 FPS here. Now it's going to be very low because it's a very stressful area. Too much of texture so it's dropped below 10 but now it's fine. And then we have the physics test which actually stresses the Atom CPU instead of the GPU. There are no actual uh, graphic uh, stress here. Th there are graphics uh, stress but as you can see uh, not much as much as what you saw. This is not actually a 3D world. It's a true 2D image inside which there are some physics calculations going on. Even this is pretty nice. So overall we could see that the tablet has the final results. Let's bring it closer here. So in the graphics test one, it got an average of uh, 42.83 FPS. And in the second test, you can see it's almost 30 FPS at 28.16. And the physics test, it got 48.62 FPS. So pretty neat for an atom based tablet and a tablet that costs half of uh, any decently powerful PC. So this, uh, these are the scores here which will matter only if you have uh, comparison tests going on with other devices but standalone 8770 for iStorm Extreme is pretty cool. So let's put it back there. That's uh, the 3D Mark test. Now let's move on to the other tests. that would be GFX Bench. So GFX Bench is a very popular uh, benchmark test that we use on many Android phones. We have got the T-Rex on screen and the Egypt on screen test selected and we are going to run those two which we do for uh, Android phones. So that's typically the same test that you see. 
on other platforms. So the frame rate is a little choppy. Uh, only Snapdragon 800 can actually easily surpass uh, the frame rates here. Otherwise, we have, we have also seen Exynos do well, but the Intel Atom chipset doesn't seem to be up to the task in the T-Rex test. Let's see how it is in the Egypt test right now. We think it would average around 15 FPS perhaps uh, and maybe even lesser. Let's see. This is the Egypt test which is much less in terms of stress. So it should be pretty easy for the Dell Venue 8 Pro's Intel Atom processor to go through. As you can see the frame rates are really fluid here. Almost 40-50 FPS easily. So now it's a little bit choppy because a lot more items are around the screen. This is completely flawless on Snapdragon 800 devices for a fair comparison. But we don't see Snapdragon 800 devices at, uh, at the $299 price range so that's a given. Pretty choppy in this test, even more choppy in some places than the T-Rex test. The test will be almost over soon, like in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so these are the results of both these tests. The T-Rex scored a 19 frames per second average while the Egypt scored 30 FPS now that's the uh, results of the GFX Bench on the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Let's move on to SunSpider now. So this is the SunSpider test. Let's start it. This is actually a CPU intensive test unlike the GPU intensive test that we saw. Let's wait for it to run. So it's already run. Let's try running it again because I don't think it's already run. All right, so it's warming up. I guess it's running too fast. So you get uh, the results instantly or maybe SunSpider has stopped uh, showing all that uh, text that you usually see. Yeah. So it scores 401 millisecond, which is extremely low for uh, any device perhaps. For a tablet itself, it's extremely low. Usually you see around uh, 900 milliseconds or something like that. It us uh, usually uh, used to be uh, the, uh, 900 milliseconds to be the best on the uh, mid-range devices perhaps, or even to some top-end devices. The new iPhone scores lesser, like around 300 milliseconds. So that's uh, an equal comparison here. It's really fast. So there's no doubt about that. Even IE is actually optimized for SunSpider. So that might be the reason that the benchmark is very fast. So anyway, that's the benchmark test, uh, giving you a fair idea of the raw performance of the CPU and the GPU on the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Again, it is powered by the Intel Atom Z3740D, 1.8 GHz processor in the turbo mode. So that's the benchmark tests of the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button for more Venue 8 Pro videos like these. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because more videos are coming. Thanks for watching.